What's popping? I collect this. This white butterfly ascension. Come to get my Scorpios. Y'all next 72 and what's coming towards y'all? You got going on the wrong way street by Janae Eiko. So maybe y'all going in the wrong direction. Let's crown first. Get your message from the star seed deck. And we're gonna get into your message. You said when you find your calling, don't hit the climb. So maybe y'all about to find what y'all was meant to do. Y'all been dealing with mediocre people. And y'all need to get off y'all chest. Get them squares out your circle. All paths lead to home. And this says one way street. So whichever direction y'all take, it's still gonna lead y'all to the direction y'all need to be at. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. So you are turning within, grounding your energy, and heading towards your path of what you was meant to do with the divine, what the Father God is giving you to do. Let's see. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for the love and support. Zim Zimma by Diana Lucas. We got the keys to the motherfucking Bema. Ooh, riding around in a Bema. Okay. Y'all ready to pop up on somebody? Then somebody ready to pop up on y'all? Let me know. Y'all been up at night, can't sleep, four swords. So y'all can't sleep at night, maybe because y'all trying to make the right decision. You're tossing and turning. Your body mentally is drained and you don't have peace. There's no peace of mind. Your mind is racing. You can't sleep. You possibly can't eat. Because I'm one of those people that I don't stress eat. I don't eat when I'm stressed. So maybe you can't eat because you're stressed. Or maybe you are overeating because you're stressed. See what else y'all got. So. Let's see what else. So y'all need to be following y'all intuition. Calm y'all mind. Meditate. Listen to meditative music. Align those shadows. So y'all can get on a path that y'all need to get on. Y'all need to get on the and you got the four pentacles so somebody been burning through money or their money looking funny that's why you can't sleep 
Now four is four is and four pentacles. Four and four. Eight. Infinity. Somebody is trying to get focused. Or just focused on yourself. Focused on a certain situation. Focus. The star. So you're coming into the light, you're realizing what you were placed on this earth for, you're realizing what your journey, which way your journey is meant to go. You're realizing the path that you, re you need to take. Are you going on taking? Are you on the road to taking it right now? So I already said eight. One plus seven is eight. Four and four is eight. So that's forward movement that y'all have. Y'all might be seeing a series of fours or a series of eights, which is showing y'all forward movement, which is showing y'all y'all going down the right path. Because all paths lead to home. All paths lead to what you was meant to do. What you was placed on this earth for. This will be happening in a few days or weeks or months. Maybe I had a dead situation. Maybe I like to smoke on that good Buddha lover by Bone Thugs and Harmony. Four of Swords. Clarify. Four of Swords. Shit, y'all might be smoking on one right now. Y'all putting that good up in the air? So y'all got some pressure on y'all because of a reconciliation that y'all thinking about. So, you've been up in your head, ready to explode because of a spiritual connection or reconciliation that you have on your mind with this person you see as your star. Y'all will be looking like y'all be coming into a union in the near future. And then y'all, one plus three is four. I told y'all, four is an eight is significant. Four is stability. Eight is moving forward. So y'all are moving forward towards this reconciliation. Moving forward towards... Hmm. Then they got to reconcile with differences. Divorce. So maybe y'all are moving forward from a divorce. That had y'all... Feeling enraged. That had y'all feeling like y'all needed to. And maybe that's what y'all put the debt to a situation on. Y'all did the situation with this divorce. Because this was a karmic lesson. You know, a lesson's gonna either be a lesson or a blessing. It'll be karmic lessons or blessings. This seemed to be a karmic lesson that you had to learn with this person, with yourself. Maybe you got off of the path because you were trying to find yourself. Or maybe you lost yourself within this connection. Maybe you lost yourself when you left this person or when you had to leave this person. And now that this divorce is final, now that the nail is in the coffin, you've dated this situation, now you can definitely release yourself from this pressure. Release yourself from the pressure cooker. Because y'all have an offer, commitment on the table. But they do have reconciliation, so... Maybe I left a third party situation, did that situation so y'all can come together 
on another commitment. Or it might be just a, a offer, a job offer. Hmm. Okay, so maybe not. So y'all got tragedy and verge. So this person is forbidden love that caused this divorce. Someone is about to confess to you about this. And why they've been acting funny with you. Why they've been being so distant with you. They've been all up in their head. Tying yourself out. Overthinking the situation. They don't know what to do. Or you don't know what to do. Because somebody's feeling crushed. Somebody's feeling anxiety. Well, someone has ascended. Someone has had a spiritual awakening. Three of Swords. Divorce. Confirmation. Somebody has divorced someone or left someone dead a situation and now you're ready to give you something that they can you can feel in vogue giving him something he can feel so someone is feeling crushed broken and alone After a tower moment. It's something that's unexpected, but it's not gonna be a bad unexpected event. This is gonna be something good that's gonna come to work with you. that dealt with a home situation. I told you for a while, something that's significant about the home life. Moving forward from a home life, moving forward from a situation, moving forward from a person. That you were intertwined with. Now, this divine masculine So, the Divine Masculine has left solely house or whatever, not even focused on you. And that's possibly what they're coming in to confess to you. That they are ready to communicate with you. But they're feeling embarrassed and threatened. But they want to <clears throat> balance out the scales with you, the high priestess, because they feel like you are their son. And see how these people are running towards the sun? That's this person coming in fast towards you. And here's our divine feminine. So this person... Whether it's you or someone else, Scorpio... The Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine is focused on this connection. And they ready for happiness and to balance out the situation with y'all. And as I say that, Ace of Cups. Enough said. And the world. They ready to come in close out this cycle to close out any doubts that you may have this person wants to come in because they're ready to work with you put in the work because they're ready to love i'm hearing a song um 
Ready to Love by India Ari. This person knows that they love you. They're ready for the commitment. I told you they're going to pull up on you. They might have family ties. They might be triggered from everything they went through. But they have been wishing. For this connection to get on a good foot. They have been wishing for this connection to work out like they wanted to. They want this wheel to turn in their favor. And they got meaning by her. They want to know if you meant it. Just walk away from her. She's in the way of us. So that's confirming that this was a third party situation that somebody was um, crushed about. It was a karmic. Somebody wound up getting a divorce. Dead in the situation so they can come into a union with their divine counterpart. Hold on by escape. This person wants you to hold on and wait for them. Because they coming in. Because you mean more to them than you know. And they got closer. I mean, yeah, closer to me. By her. And they got a song right now on by her meaning. So this person want to know if you meant what you said about just love. They want you to hold on because they want to come closer to you. And I'm getting chills as I say that. So this person does love you, see happiness with you, see they ready to give that couple up to you. All right, Scorpio, this is y'all next 72 and what's coming towards y'all. Y'all be easy. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the TikTok for shout out content. And if you need your own personal, check out the website. And it will be my pleasure to do y'all a reading. Y'all be easy. Till next time.